Hello darlings and welcome back here to my channel and today we're doing something a little bit different I wanted to do a review of something that I have been using since the summer and that's doing my nails at home but it's not gel polish it's something in between gel polish and normal nail polish that's a very uncomfortable position but the thing is i really wanted to do my nails at home because it's expensive and time consuming to actually get gel polish outside and you have to do it every three to four weeks and i cannot remove the actual gel polish at home because i am ruining my nails every single time and i'm actually afraid of getting it done somewhere else in the uk for some reason i'm okay in bulgaria because i know the people but yes I'm avoiding gel polish and nail polish ruins way way too quickly so that's why I found a new solution it's a new brand so the brand that I have decided using is called Manu Manucurist it's a sustainable one, eco-friendly I actually saw it on Josie's Instagram I think it was and it was exactly what I was searching something in between nail polish and and gel polish and it removes really really easy you basically soak up one of those like cotton tampons put it around your nail leave it for a minute and then it just peels off so it's perfect i have been using it all summer and that's why i wanted to bring it to a video as well and if you're struggling just like me to find something of an in-between that video is definitely for you and you can do your nails for way way cheaper at home and it actually lasts and this video is going to be now I'm gonna show you how I put it on because it's a few different coats I'm gonna show you the color that I got as well and I'm going to continue it about 7 to 10 days afterwards just to show you the condition of my nails how long it actually lasts when is it starting to ruin so you know all the details before actually purchasing so what I got this time is a kit because I wanted to be all set so what I received was the lamp together with the charger. Well, it's not a charger, it's actually a plug-in into the, into the wall. So that's the one thing that annoys me a little bit. And that's why I'm in the middle of nowhere of my room because I have a plug right, right over there and I had to move everything because of it. I got this lamp, which is white, it's cute. You get stickers to decorate it with. These ones I really don't like. I have put the ones that are quite nice on it. <laughs> Not my favorite either and I put them the wrong way around, but it is what it is. So you have just like the gel lamp, you have a 30 second button, 60 seconds and 99 seconds. Other things that I received were those thingies that you put around your nails, like the clip-ons. You put them around the cotton pad so you can remove easily your nail polish afterwards. You get five with a kit. The other things that you need and you get with it are three nail polishes. You get, they are written on top of it, each one of them. So this one is number one, it's the base layer. Number two is your actual color, which for me it is, how is it called? I'm going to write the name of the color that I'm using here but it was something about nude it's a very nude color because that's what I'm allowed to use at work and the top layer as well so if you want to add onto your collection you can just purchase the colorful ones the different colors that you desire and it also comes with a specific nail polish remover with which you can use it quite a lot because I have used it a couple of times and it looks like I haven't used it at all so, with that being said, let's start with the video and show you how I do my nails. And we're starting with the base coat, which is number one. And it's just a transparent one. And now we go under the lamp for 30 seconds. Now we're going to go with the color, which is number two, and it's the nudie one. That's the one that I'm using. This time I'm going to do 60 seconds. Now I'm doing the second coat, so I'm going to show you how it looks like afterwards, so you can see. And this one is a little bit transparent. Let me show you what it is after the first coat, actually. So this is how the color is looking after the first layer and in comparison to how it looks after the second one. 
I hope that you can see it like this. So this one is one layer, this one is two layers. So it's a little bit more covered up, but you can still see the nail underneath. That, by the way, is the third layer because I didn't do a very good job at the second layer. So that's why I had to do a third one to cover the second one. I like it a lot because after the third layer, you can still see my nails, but it's not too obvious. I don't know why this camera doesn't want to focus. Now that I am done with the color, we're gonna go with number three, which is the top coat. And I'm just going to do a full minute on this one as well, just because to be on the safe side that I have done it properly. It's just a transparent base again. And that's me done with the nails. This one is an oil elixir from Yves Rocher that I received as a gift actually from Bulgaria. It's for the nails. They sell one in Monocuris as well. So you can, well, you can purchase from anywhere, but I like applying it when I have finished off with my manicure, you know, just like in a salon. So it feels extra special and it's good for your nails and everything else as well. Okay, it's finally focusing. So that's the end result with three layers. And at the moment I do have the oil on my fingers as well, but you can see it's such a nice color. It's a, you can see a little bit of the nail underneath, which is exactly what I want. If you want it to be fully covered up, I think four layers are going to do the trick. However, I do like it when it's a little bit transparent. So yeah. That's the first day, that's how it looks. I think it looks exactly how they describe it. It's in between nail polish, but gel polish at the same time. So it's that perfect in between. It looks really nice on, it looks nice and polished, but then you can remove it so, so easily afterwards. And I'm going to show you in a couple of days how you do that as well. So that's it for today and I'll see you in a few days. Just a quick update, we are on day four and a half and one of my nails fell off right before work so i'm gonna have to paint it quickly so it looks like the rest of them this one is chipped off as well but to be honest i did slam this one at the door and it was looking like it's going to fall and <laughs> i guess it finally did so that's day four and a half i'm gonna show you tomorrow on the half days five days what they look like Hello darlings, we are on day five and a half and I wanted to show you the state of my nails today. Basically one fell yesterday, this one, and I didn't really have time to fix it. So I was hiding my hand during my whole shift at work and that's the state that the rest of them are in. It's not looking the greatest. After all, it's maximum 10 days and I do work with my hands quite a lot. I use them and yeah. It just needs redone. You can even see on this one, it's starting to peel off. So I'm just going to take it off. That's on day five and a half and I should have taken it yesterday. I just didn't have the time. So now we're just going to do it. The gel removal, like the nail polish removal or whatever it is, that's how it looks like. And hopefully I'll have time to redo it as well without being late for work so you put it on a tampon and then i'm gonna use the little clippers that's it i'm gonna repeat the same for the rest of them and i'm gonna leave it for a minute and then repeat on the other hand and i'm gonna show you how it feels afterwards so you can see it properly on this one how it's peeling by itself So easy. I love it. So I'm gonna continue doing that very very fast because I'm going to be late for work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.